In this video, I'm going to show you my new favorite way to defend the gun bunch in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm up up uploading new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And like I said, in this video, we're going to show you how to shut down the gun bunch. Now, I would argue that the gun bunch has been the best offense in Madden consistently over the last uh, probably five to six years, if not even more than that. It's a very good offense. I first started running gun bunch back in Madden 12. Uh, which is I think we're coming up on almost 10 years ago so this offense is really really good okay but I want to share with you this new defense that I'm using I'm going to explain why I'm using in this video and I'm going to talk about a, uh, a deal that a lot of the bunch players are using to kind of counter match and I'm going to show you how you can actually counter their counter in this video so hopefully you're strapped in and ready to learn I'm really excited to break this down if you I'm talking today out of the nickel 335 will which is found in the the Chicago Bears playbook. If you want to get my full ebook on this defense, there's a link in the description below. We cover a lot of match concepts. We also cover what I would argue is the best pressure concepts in Madden 22 right now out of the 335 will. Um, it's very, very underrated defensive set. But anyways, let's talk about it. So I've got some audible set here and we are going to go over um, we're going to go over some defense. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the problem and then we're going to give you a solution to the problem here in just a second. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come out and cover four quarters and I'm going to show you why this is a major major deal. So, uh, in cover four quarters, what we're going to do is we are going to run uh, kind of some standard adjustments. I talked about this in a, a video that I did a long time ago, but basically we're going to bluff blitz the defensive tackle on the bunch side. We're going to man that middle linebacker up onto the tight end so that we can stop a lot of the bombs and also so that we can stop a lot of the uh, flooding combinations out of the gun bunch. From there, we're pretty much good. I like to shade my coverage inside. Uh, if you want to, you can actually man up on that solo receiver. That does help some um, because the, the core, the way the coverage is going to play, he's going to be man locked on him anyway. So, anyways, without that, with that, now I want to show you the problem. So the problem is, if I put a corner route to Godwin here, what you're going to notice is my match is going to kind of dumb out on that side, and I'm going to be able to hit this route occasionally over there. So that time I actually played it properly. Uh, I'm going to show you another uh, situation where it's not, and and basically what that might look like would be something like this. Um, this concept right here, Skimbo ran this in the uh, MCS, the qualifiers uh, for the wild card tournament, and this was one of his favorite plays. And the reason why is because if you watch here, the match occasionally will dumb out, and I can hit that route to circle uh, on that side. And again, if I just run this a couple of times, you'll see uh, eventually he's gonna he's gonna dumb out, and uh, you're gonna see here right like that see that see that right there so what you just saw was i had that fade over the top um and that's where i'm saying there's just some challenges uh with the way that quarters will play this and then in order to stop the bomb like i said you need to man up the tight end so then when you come back around here uh what you're going to notice this is just kind of what i was noticing uh in some of the gameplays that i saw was that this corner route would then become more open or you could get this fade over the top. So the bottom line is there were some waves around the way the quarters uh, played. Let me give you another one uh, that is very, very effective, and that is a motion out. So uh, essentially what that looks like would be we're going to take uh, the corner and we got the corner route to Godwin. We're going to then take Johnson and put him on a out route or something like that, and then we're going to streak the tight end. So it looks you know kind of like this. Again, forgive the play art. It's not my... You know, EA just still hasn't fixed it. Uh, but the bottom line here is what you're going to see now is that quarter flat, that outside quarter zone is going to get that guy open. And as you can see, we're able to really kind of mess with uh, the matching concept uh, from quarters. Okay. Now you can do this also from cover six. Um, cover six, just the way that it plays, uh, I have found that this combination right here, something just like this, and then maybe taking the back and doing something like that on the back side. Typically, this corner route to the right side, right there. See how that's open at the on the throw. That's kind of the problem. And, um, and and like I said, let me show one more thing with this. But when you do some additional adjustments, it still is going to make that a little bit of a problem uh, from the quarters uh, coverage, just the way that it works against bunch. Um, not sure quite why, but for whatever reason, that safety on the right side will oftentimes mess up, and you'll typically see that this corner. Uh, this corner out to circle will be open. There, it actually covered it fine. But like I said, if you ran 10 or 12 of those in a row, you'll 
you'll see that occasionally it will mess it up. So um, what is the counter to that? Well, the counter to that is to insert the cover four uh, palms defense. And part of the reason why I really like the cover four palms defense is because if you get a motion outlook, your quarter flat is going to play significantly better. So uh, let's come back out and we're going to come out and cover four palms. And then on bunch side, we're going to come out and clear out. Now, the first concept I want to show you is this Z spot and go situation. So let's say you get a, a concept that looks kind of like this, right? And they motion this guy out. Now, what you can do uh, from this is, again, we'll press. We'll do all of the same adjustments, the exact same adjustments. Now, whenever I run palms, I like to use them accordy because if they're going to run any crossing route from right to left, I'm going to take that as my user. Um, but anyways, here you see kind of the way that the, the coverage looks, if you will. Now what you're going to see is this quarter flat defender is essentially going to man lock onto the R1. And as you can see, he's going to pick that ball off. In quarters, that's an easy um, that's an easy completion, right? Uh, but against palms, it's not, not as easy. Now the other reason why I like this uh, palms coverage and the way that it works is because we very rarely will get this misstep by this defender right here. Um, this defender plays a little bit more the way he's actually supposed to play in the coverage. And so what you're gonna see is if I were to go to back to that same combination uh, of routes, let me go to uh, this combination right here, um, because of the way that the, the palms coverage works, what you should see is that circle is gonna get guarded every single time the way he's supposed to. Now, the other reason why I really like this is as long as they stay in a compression look out of the gun bunch, um, then what you're going to notice is this man coverage on the backside is pretty good, especially if you shade the coverage inside. I did a video uh, earlier, the, earlier this week talking about the importance of shading inside on your man coverage. So what you're gonna see now is, let's say I throw a, uh, a deep post route over the top and then I do something like this. If you watch this palms coverage, it's gonna play it really, really well. As you can see right there, he just takes that corner right away. The safety doesn't get dumbed out as much. And then the last concept, or I got two more concepts I wanna show you that are very popular uh, from Gun Bunch. And that the first one is, uh, the first one is the, uh, the, the Bunch Trail. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of kind of create it myself, but essentially it looks like this, right? Bunch Trail, if you will. Uh, and then we're gonna, you know, kind of do something like this. Well, again, the reason why I like this so much against Bunch Trail, again, it's shade inside. But what you're gonna see is when you shade inside, you oftentimes don't get a press win animation. And as you can see, this post route is completely bagged. There's no opportunity for the, the player to be able to hit that uh, specific concept. And then the next concept that I wanna share with you today uh, that is very popular from Gun Bunch is essentially mesh post with a seam wheel. And I wanna talk about why using this man up assignment here and pass committing and then bringing this guy down, right? That's kind of how we wanna set this up, is very good for this. The reason why it's so good is because we've got the tight end manned up. So if you watch mesh post, the tight end flat's really not necessarily something we need to worry about. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a slant and we're gonna do an out route. And what you're gonna notice here is this, uh, against quarters, that wheel would be wide open, but against the palms, you see that it plays it perfectly and you're able to stop the seam wheel. Now, a lot of people don't have any clue this year how to be able to hang with the seam wheel. That concept right there that I just shared with you is very good. Now, the cool part about this coverage is it's not just good uh, against one piece of the mesh post. It's good against the whole concept, the whole play. Uh, and so what that looks like is this. So if I go to mesh post and kind of run it like this, if you watch this motion slant, this motion slant's going to get, for the most part, pretty much taken away. You see how he carries him to the sideline, and that's completely taken care of. And then we have man coverage on that backside uh, that is defending that so really the only thing that we really have to worry about uh, from the gun bunch perspective is if we get something like this verticals play and they run a running back in route and what you're gonna see here is there are some ways around that uh, but what I like to do sim very simply uh, I like to just kind of stay in this coverage and then what we're gonna simply do is again you got that main coverage on that backside there so that's kind of informing your defense that you're responsible 
for Usering there. Uh, but what you're going to see here is this quarter flat defender should run with him. And as you can see right there, that's the biggest vulnerability, right? Um, if we want to stop that, we certainly have options, okay? We could just man up the running back. There's a lot of things that we could do um, that would significantly help us in our man-to-man -man coverage. If we leave this three wreck right here in the middle of the field, and then we take our defensive tackle and man him up on the tight end, um, again, this is kind of a situational adjustment. But if they're running that specific concept out of verticals, a lot of times this will be enough to stop it because your three rack will kind of in, see, how, in, see how they match a little bit better that way. So to me, the palms coverage is probably the best way to stop the majority of what people like to do at a gun bunch. And the main reason why is because I feel like from palms, the safety is going to play significantly better in man coverage. And then, the, you know, like I said, the biggest concept that you really have to worry about uh, to me is the flood concept. But you'll notice with palms, um, you're going to see it does play significantly better than quarters in this. Um, that man coverage will typically take that away. And if you watch here, that out route to the right, um, if they throw that on time it is open but obviously you could go user that if they throw it just a split second too late you're going to stop that every single time i will tell you you'll randomly intercept that a lot um, but for me and my money i'm really liking this cover four palms specifically in how it works against compressed sets mainly speaking about the bunch and the bunch tight end but i would encourage you guys if you enjoyed this video and you want to get a little bit more intel about how to stop the gun bunch consider joining my patreon membership uh, by joining my patreon membership you're going to get immediate access to all 12 of my offensive and defensive ebooks that i've released so far this season you're also going to get instant access to any ebook that i'm going to release while your subscription is active um, it's a month-to-month -month deal for just just 10 bucks a month you can join the patreon to me it's well worth it in value and you can feel free to cancel whenever you'd like so again guys if you want to join that patreon i'm going to put a link to that down in the description of this video we've got a full uh tutorial in there about how to stop bunch we've got a ton of match concepts in there i did breakdowns on a lot of pro players as well we've been doing defensive updates every week offensive updates so a lot of really good material in there so if you've not joined the patreon on yet i would really really encourage you to think about it and again you don't have to join for the rest of your life you can join for just one month and then you can cancel if you don't enjoy if you don't enjoy uh the content but thanks for watching this video and if you want to check out that patreon head on down to the description and click the link that i put right there for you so you can go check out the patreon